and after the biggest lead of the first half was nine points. A look at the scoring, Clark and Billet leading the way. Tanise did a good job off the bench, George, with six points. Tanise came in with a lot of confidence, uh, as did Lynch for Villanova. Both those guys gave him a real spark. The guy that's not up there that had a terrific first half, though, was, uh, was Sanders. He got his hands on a lot of balls, got a bunch of rebounds, and uh, really did uh, energize Rutgers uh, quite a bit. Zephy Penn is just his fourth start of the season. <laughs> As they await the Scarlet Knights to join them on the floor for Villanova to be pinned with Biggis, Brown, Medley, and Celestan. Brown's going to be looking to get off the Schneid. He went one for six in the first half, 0 for two from long range. Be interesting to see if Johnson has a pretty good effect now. Remember when he went out the first half with the third foul, it was a one-point game. Uh, uh, and they got down a little bit uh, since that point. Johnson, Greer, Clark, Billet and Hudson for Rutgers. Billet ended the first half with a great shot. Clark working hard. Turned it over on the traveling violation. Rutgers is one of those teams that doesn't beat you off the dribble a whole lot of time, so they really have to have great ball movement, and uh, for the most part, they've done that. They've, they've shot the ball exceptionally well, 57%, and have gotten to the foul line. Uh, uh, that time, uh, Clark just uh, moved the feet. Celestan cut off. Here's Jeffy Penn. And Jeffy Penn still shooting it well. He's got 12 points. Jeffy's having fun today. Final home game for Jeffy. Clark giving up 65 pounds to, to Biggis. Working hard. Drops the panic block. Here come the Wildcats. Transition. Fella stand off the glass. Missed it. Brown the tip. No good. Penn and again. gets a shot off. Penn and Brown just did a great job on the offensive glass that time. Wouldn't give in, just wouldn't give in on that. Uh, Celestan maybe uh, caused a little bit of a tougher shot than he probably needed to have, but certainly uh, Penn and Brown just kept after it. Third foul on Hudson. So that becomes another significant point as Howard Brown gets an easy one on the inbound. That's the first time either, well, now second time that uh, people have scored on the out-of-bounds. Uh, that's a little unusual against Rutgers. Biggest lead of the afternoon. Not what Rutgers or Kevin Bannon wanted to come out at halftime and, and go down by 10. And now you got Johnson as well as Hudson with three fouls. Here's Clark trying it again. Biggest takes over. And he got fouled. Vegas has just made really three straight defensive plays. Caused Clark to walk, block the shot, and then block the shot again. Watch this. Watch how big Vegas just gets. His arms go straight up in the air. No foul. Gets the rebound. Gets tripped. Again, the defense straight up and down. Terrific defense that time. He's so, so huge. Wow. And the, guess what? The foul is on Johnson. That's his fourth. Well, now you got to make a decision uh, whether or not you're going to let him go or, or take him out and, and uh, wait for the last 10 minutes or seven minutes or so. I think uh, Kevin's going to be a little bit uh, more cautious and go to Sanders, uh, which is uh, what you really should do. You don't want to lose Johnson here. 10-point lead for Villanova. Howard Brown looking for his outside shot. Threw it off the foot of Clark. Biggest calling for it inside. You might want to think that Medley would be taking Johnson to the basket. They get a foul call. Let's see. The referees consult. And they get a traveling violation. Joe Vigna came in and persuaded Will Bush that he had a better angle of a travel. Good position by Biggis here. And he did travel. He shuffled those feet. Real good call. That's the outside official taking a good look at that. And that's where the three officials does help. Uh, the guy closest to that probably can't see that. Real good officiating that time. Outstanding. Rutgers trying to cut into this 10-point lead. Got a technical foul on Kevin Banner. Well, that was a little quick. I think Kevin's a little upset that uh, he hasn't, hasn't gotten a couple fouls uh, down the other end. Uh, and then to be down 10 points uh, and, and coming out of the uh, halftime, not real happy with that, I'm sure. But you're in the danger zone when uh, Villanova now can uh, sneak it up to 12 and get possession of the basketball. 
The Cats by 12, biggest lead of the afternoon. They get the ball right back. That's a, I mean, that's really, as you mentioned, can blow this thing wide that's open. That's a tough time to get a technical when, when you, you don't, when you have possession of the basketball, because now you lose possession, you give them two fouls, and, and now Villanova gets another opportunity to score two or Cat, three here. Cats on a 17-4 run. Clark in foul trouble. Johnson in foul trouble. Hodgson in foul trouble. I've been saying all day that uh, Villanova has gotten awful good looks uh, at the basket. Uh, that time, Rutgers picked up the defense a little bit tougher, a little bit more intense. Pause the three-second call. They turn it over. But Villanova has gotten good looks because they've moved the ball so very well, and uh, they haven't hesitated when they've gotten the open look and just uh, kind of let it go. Freshman Greer cut off by Biggest, kept his dribble alive. Missed it, got the rebound, and scored. Nicely done by the freshman out of Cardinal Hayes High School in the Bronx, New York. He's got some talent. He's played for a really good high school coach, Tommy Murray, who's uh, just a great teacher of fundamentals, and uh, Greer's going to be a real good one. Celestan feeds the post. Biggest missed the layup. Oh, he was right there. Biggest forcing inside. Can't get that one. Billet breaking back for Rutgers. Still you like Stan rides him off. There's a foul against John. I think you like to see uh, Biggis's effort, though. He went after it both times. Uh, watch uh, as he as he makes the move, just kind of misses the shot here, does everything else, catches it great, makes a good move, kind of floats away from the basket a little bit. Same thing here. Got to go up strong and straighter, just kind of going away from the ball. Back to live action. Billet got off a three-point shot. Big scramble. Sanders involved. He was on the sideline. And Villanova will take over. Brian Lynch coming in. Number 21. He gave Villanova terrific lift in the first half. Shot four for four. Two for two from three-point range. 11 points. And picked up a couple of rebounds, too. Got it in, uh, did all of that damage in 10 minutes. 11 points in 10 minutes. This is one of those games, Dave, that if, if anybody really wants to take control of it, now is the time to do it, whether it be Rutgers or going over. Going over, obviously, a better shot with the 10-point lead, but you could really take very serious control of this game right now. Biggest with a foul. Trying to back screen, kept moving. Right in front of the official. You've got to be a little a little bit smarter than making that uh, that kind of a screen. For Biggest, his third. There it is. Watch uh, Biggest with the post up position. Now he's coming across pretty 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 open. Now we'll try to back screen and he's still moving when he's making that screen. Got to come to a stop. Back to live action. Clark cut off, gets it to Hodgson, Clark back inside, working hard, and count the basket, boy, threw it up, and it went in, nicely done, tough shot by Clark. He's been their warrior all year, watch how hard uh, Clark just works on this play, turn, turn, bumped, bumped again, still gets it off the backboard. And Malik Allen, who just came in, oh, about... 17 seconds ago, he takes a seat with his fourth foul. Well, now, now Villanova really in serious trouble with the big guys. Three and four fouls on Biggis and Allen. Uh, you don't want to have that at this stage. This is a foul situation. Brown with the rebound. Eight points to Villanova lead. Brown guarded by Sanders. Good matchup here. Rutgers still man-to-man. -man. They've, they've shown a lot of 2-3 match in the first half, but it looks like they're going more than man-to-man. -man. Great pass from Cowlitch, but uh, not a good pass there and a good rotation by Hodgson. Billet gets it to Greer. Scarlet Knights need some points here. And here's Sam Sanders, not a good outside shooter. I think you got to look at Clark again with, uh, with the, all the big people out. Uh, Zephy Penn is playing Clark inside. You might want to look inside. Hodgson. And with Cowlitch with a hand check. So Cowett, his second foul. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Interesting game. 15-32 to go in the ballgame. 49-41, Villanova. We're back to the pavilion. Back, everybody. Villanova, 49-41 over Rutgers. And now it's time for our combo stuff of the week. Here comes St. John's Lopez with Postel, Alley-oop, oh, oh, oh. the bullet pass. 
a live action. Hodgson missed an easy one as he got underneath. He's 0 for 4. Cowlett will fumble there. Will stay Villanova ball. But Rutgers is shooting. They started out 10 of 14. Since then, now 3 of 12 from the field. 3 of 12 in the second half mostly. And uh, just not uh, not getting the type of shots they got in the first half. And not being as patient either. Great pop. Here's Lynch with the putback. On a real quick shot by Medley. Yes, yeah, very opportunistic today, uh, Lynch. Is. He's just really on top of his game and doing some really good things. Clark way outside, going to buy Zephy Penn. Vegas has three personals. Allen with four. The two big guys were going over on the bench. Greer, runner in the lane, is good. Nice float shot. Villanova's defense on the perimeter has picked up, and that's what uh, Rutgers has got to do, either go inside or put it on the floor and go by people. And uh, Greer did at that time, got a good open shot. Seven for Greer. 51-43, Villanova. Brown along the baseline, got bodied by Sanders. His second foul. Here's a good look by uh, by Brown going by Sanders. Just uh, too much contact out front. That's 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 a tough thing to defend. That uh, that move out on the wing. Lynch goes baseline. Good left-handed pass along the baseline. Not easy to do. Won't see a lot of that. Medley had time to look at it. Brown went for the foul. Couldn't get it. Zeffy Ben had it. Take it away by Billet. Billet pushing the tempo. Billet in the lane lays it up with the left hand. Count it. Jeff Billet. Rutgers doesn't get hurt when Billet goes back to point guard. He really knows what to do, and that's uh, that's a terrific push all the way. First, first, he makes the steal. Terrific steal. Now he looks up the court, heads up. Got some people running with him. He just goes by people and gets fouled. Billet seems to like to go left a little bit more uh, some, uh, than right. He's a little bit unusual in that. Sometimes you work on it so hard uh, that you get better going left yeah. than you do right your natural way. And it's uh, I think Jeff has uh, done that. That is a terrific asset. Youngsters pay heed. <laughs> Rutgers has nine fast break points to none for Villanova. But you can see when he's growing up, he's saying, I got to get better with my left hand. And he sure has. Yeah. Biggest back in the game. He picked up his third foul a little more than two minutes ago. If he can stay out of foul trouble, it'll just have a significant effect on his game, I think. They look for him. Lynch, uh, check that. Uh, Clark got a piece of that. Rutgers. They're running. Rutgers running transition here. Sam Sanders leaves it for Billet, who, oh, he was ready to tee it up. And a foul. I believe against Biggest Biggest. got his fall. So that didn't take long. Again, this is just Clark working so hard. Biggest trying to front them, but Clark getting excellent position. Ball moving. Billet drops the ball. Probably that caused the foul. Kind of a tough call. Biggest just really working hard on that defensive play there. So they bring Logan Lessie in. Certainly making contact, but uh, that's that's. Uh, you want to give the defense a little bit of benefit uh, when they work that hard. Greer on the inbound. Leaves it for Clark. Billet's open with time to look at it. And he hit it. A three-pointer by Jeff Billet. Coming Makes out it 51-49. Rutgers right back in it on a 12-2 run. Here out of the out-of-bounds play. Here at Villanova as Rutgers is looking for its first road win in conference play this year. They're 0-8. Watch this uh, coming out of the out-of-bounds play. Good penetration, reversal. Billet came from all the way out-of-bounds to get an open look on the top of the right side, top of the key, and nails it again. 13.30 to go. This is Big East basketball from the Pavilion in Villanova. I'm Dave Sims with George Blaney, and this has been a heck of a ball game. Villanova's led by 10 on several occasions, but on both times, Rutgers has come back. So we said before when it was when it was a 10-point game that either team wanted to take it over. They, they, it was it was ripe to be taken over. Rutgers has hung in and has done a good job of getting right back in, making this a two-point game.
12 2 run the last three minutes 37 seconds plus the foul biggest has four fouls malik allen with four fouls so the two big guys for villanova non-factors over unless he turns it over lynch is there lynch has been the spark for villanova he's just doing a little bit of everything today he's six for six from the field Jeffy Penn almost had a steal off the ball down low. And Ogan Leslie picks up a foul. And I tell you what, Eric Clark's quickness is killing the big men for Villanova. Well, Clark, I don't know that Clark can work much harder. Here's Lynch uh, just being alert, knowing where the ball is, hands ready, and finishing very, very tough. You get fouls on your two big guys, and then all of a sudden, uh, your little guys are defending. Uh, it's uh, It becomes very difficult to uh, guard the big guy inside. Will Bush at the scorer's table. There's been a double technical foul called on Jeff Billet and Jermaine Medley. So it was off the ball. And again, uh, the plus side of having three officials because I didn't see any of that. It was, no, I don't the think ball we... was up top and evidently it was something happened along the baseline. I don't think Jeff Billet and uh, Medley uh, get too many technicals either. <laughs> But again, now making the, making these foul shots will be very critical. So this coming at the 1307. These are the foul shots by Clark. Uh, these are not the technical. Rutgers could wind up making four foul shots here if uh, Clark makes two, and I'm sure uh, I would think Billet would shoot the foul shots. Clark makes them both. Good job. 53-51. Uh, and the two, so the two technicals. So uh, we're not, we're not shooting the technicals. Yeah. Cancel each other out. So okay. still, you got to give Rutgers a lot of credit. We got the two big people in foul trouble. Allen and Biggest both on the bench with four. We may not see them until about the three or four minute mark. But I think that's uh, that also is a tribute to uh, Kevin Bannon's personality. You just gonna hang in, hang in tough. Clark, they took that Lynch, Ogan Leslie with the putback. Boy, did he need that one. He walked the first couple of times he touched the ball. That woke the crowd up, too. Got to be a crowd favorite. Clark calling for it down low. He gets it. And a foul. Villanova just having all kinds of trouble guarding Clark inside. He's just getting such wonderful position. Got to get over and above him because you're getting weak side help from Lynch here. There's no reason not to be in front of him. Look at the position he has. He's wide open, wide open, wide open, and finally gets the ball and now gets a reach-in foul from behind. Clark has been strong all day for Rutgers. 16 points, 4-6 shooting from the field, and 8 of 10 at the line. Way short on that one, tip kept alive. Hudson with a nice back tap on a missed foul shot. That's a great play in basketball. And the more times you can do that, the more possessions you get. Did you chart those? That's, I think that's an oh, interesting yeah, we, stat. That, that's really a terrific play. Big shot, he's short, and a foul on Clark. Foul on Clark on the short three-point field goal attempt by Hudson. And the fans feeling that Clark has been getting away with murder all day. Really give him a Bronx cheer there, and that was clearly a foul. Simon with the double zero is just uh, a crowd favorite, and he's doing a terrific job. Second foul on Clark. 16 fouls against Rutgers, nine against Villanova. Celestan, here's Effie Penn. Logan Lessing, Lynch, and Brown on the floor right now for the Cats. Picked out of bounds by Clark with 21 on the shot clock. Going over every once in a while, just a little, little anxious on offense. Just a, a shade more patience, and I think they can get what they want. They've <clears throat> been turning up pretty good open shots most of the day. Good double screen here off the out of bounds. Well, they pushed that five second one. That close, Brown up top. He's not shot well today. Here's Celestine. Jeffy Penn's had a great day. It continues. Jeffy Penn in his final home game. What a performance. Gives Villanova a six-point lead. Career high. 
you, for his Effie Penn. You he's love, got 16 points. 16 points, but you love to see it because he's been such a good player for them for so long. He's, Sanders drives, and they wipe it off with the charge. Real strong move. Real strong move by Sanders and a step up. Weak side help by Lynch. Watch Lynch step in. Kind of look. Sanders, <laughs> tough play for Rutgers. We got a break. Villanova by six with 11.44 to go in the ballgame. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Sims is George Pointing with you. Six point lead for Villanova. Watch the good re ball reversal again. Uh, Celestan penetrates a little bit, gets it to Zephy Penn, and, and the confidence that Zephy is showing today, uh, just it's great to see a senior on the senior day, a kid that has has given Steve Lapis uh, such versatility through the years he's played. He's, he's, he's done everything he's asked him to do, and uh, it's nice to see him get rewarded by being able to score. And he's uh, he's got the touch today. He knows he's got it, and he's not afraid to shoot it. And then Leslie, baseline turnaround, too strong, kept alive Celestan. Logan Leslie was ready to get blocked by Clark. Logan Leslie blocked by Clark again for the foul. Going over getting a lift. From six foot ten, 265 pounds, Simon Ogan Lesson. Ogan Lesson's going to be uh, the, the hero on campus uh, with the way he's going. Block here by Clark. Tried to get it again, uh, just got a piece of the arm. So Clark now with his third foul. Logan Leslie on the season, just 0 for 1 at the line. Kevin Bannon not waiting any longer. 11 and 11, 20, uh, four seconds to go uh, in the half. Coming back with Earl Johnson with the four fouls. That's faith in your player, knowing that uh, he can play with four fouls and understanding that, Hope, hoping that he can anyway. Johnson and Tanise come in. Clark and Greer take a seat. And Simon 0 for 2 and knocked out of bounds. Sanders and Hodgson knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Villanova ball. That's uh, the one thing that's happened in basketball, Dave, is, is players don't talk very much on the floor to each other. And uh, that, that wouldn't have happened if uh, either one of them yelled. It's like it's like a center fielder calling off the left fielder. And that's what you have to do on a rebound. I got it, I got it, and, and, and then take it. Make sure the other player knows. Could be a big sequence here for the Cats. Celestan. Here's Effie Penn. Got it again. I tell you what. <laughs> He's just feeling it, Dave. He, he is as a shooter. He just knows high. it's going. And to Celestan's credit, he's found him twice in a row after penetration. Second chance points. Villanova's got 17 to just five for Rutgers. Johnson's got to be careful on the drive. He's got four fouls. Tennis running the ball. Got it. Jump off. It's good. Boy, he was there for a few seconds before they saw him. Well, that's the uh, that's the long three seconds. <laughs> you bet. But he had great position. He's four for four. A lot of banging going on right here. Let him play. A lot of banging. And here's Billet. Gonna pull up. Big three. Well, short on that one. Who saves it? Sanders does. Off of Howard Brown. Rutgers ball. You don't see Billet miss too many in uh, transition that way, and he missed it badly. Sanders, again, not scoring much, but having a uh, very, very influential game with what he's doing. Defensively, loose balls, rebounds. Get it to Billy. Denise, drop step. And he's on fire himself. Denise is five for five. Rutgers hanging tough. He's a good looking offensive player, isn't he? I mean, he's got some moves. He just has to get some confidence and a lot of experience. He I, needs a lot of experience. You're right about the confidence. I saw him just a month ago. There's an air short, almost an air ball. Zephy Penn, rebound, sets up. Wow. Leslie rebounds, kicks it back out. Good ball movement. Lynch, second time. He got it. Celestan just doing a terrific job of finding the open guy. Villanova, I seven. Oh, Brown almost had a steal there. Hots it, and a foul on Zeppi Penn. Boy, there have been some really good performances. Steve Lapis looks at Zephy Penn. Why reach in? Why now? Watch again. Very good ball movement here. All the way out. Celestan just finds him. Lynch uh, nails it. Lynch has got 18 on the afternoon. Rutgers just did the same thing. Rutgers moved the ball side to side. Got it up. Got it to the wing to Hodgson. And then 
as you catch the ball, he, take, he puts it hard to the goal. It's, uh, again, very difficult to defend that. Zeffy Penn came up and made contact. It was short on that one. Hudson, 84% at the line. Rebounding this half. Villanova getting it done. One of their objectives today. 14 to 4. And how about that? Just two points and one point. He, he just hasn't seemed to be in sync offensively. He's played fine, but he just hasn't been in sync offensively. Be interesting to see if he can do something in the last nine minutes here. Sella standing guarded by Billet over to Brown. Jeffy Penn. Pay more attention to him now. Sella stand. He struck the three. The perimeter game has been uh, excellent to Villanova. They've done a terrific job moving the ball. 22nd timeout, Rutgers. After the big three by Celestan. They've opens been, the lead to 65-56. They've been getting this kind of good look most of the day. We said this early in the first half, and again, right here, watch this ball movement. Here it is, step up, get a good, good look at the basket. Defense is a little late rotating out. Billet can't get there, really can't contest the shot. And when you can't contest that shot, that's a pretty easy shot. So Villanova here in the second half, 10 missed shots, 10 offensive rebounds. Rutgers keeps putting themselves in a position where they they're in a danger position and uh, again you're right back to another danger position so this possession becomes pretty important Sanders outside they're posting up with Hodgson Tanise can't get it Johnson playing with four fouls leaves for Sanders 10 on the shot clock Hodgson working inside can't get all oh, Sam Sanders trying to crush one home and he missed it or he came out of nowhere and there's a pass That's, I think that might have been touched and look at Steve Lapis. Will Bush says say no, no, it was not touched. And Joe Vigna said he didn't see it. Back comes Rucky. Hodgson had an open. Tennise, long time to look at it. Oh, boy, the big fella steps out and hits a baseline jumper. He is six for six. Everything going well inside. And Tennise steps out and nails about a, a 15, 16 foot. That's, that's good basketball. in the corner to Celestan. He beat the defense. His Lynch set up. And Brian Lynch continues his high hand. He's got 21. Ten-point lead for Villanova. He's 8 of 10 from the field. Villanova is just in such a good rhythm offensively. Their motion offense just reversing the ball and finding open people and then being able to knock down open shots. Billet throws it up with the left hand. And he got hit. Took a blow to the mouth. I don't think Jeff Billett has ever played in a game where he hasn't got hit, gotten hit in the head. Uh, he's as tough a kid as you'll ever see in the Big East. Watch again the ball movement here. Celestan penetration finds Lynch. Lynch smart enough to drift back behind the three-point line, so it's a three-point shot. 21 points. Uh, terrific outing for uh, Brian Lynch. Billett has played a strong game today. He's got 17 points. Big back after a one-point performance against Syracuse, 0 for 5 shooting in 39 minutes. Major turnaround. A short on that one. It's good that he's scoring, and he, and he needs to score, but normally uh, it's how Johnson goes. If Johnson has the game, that's usually what happens. Two of the big fan favorites, Ogan Lessie and Zephy Penn take a seat. T.J. Cowett and Malik Allen return for Villanova. That's by 10. Zeppi Penn, you want to talk about an afternoon, 16 points, 11 boards, 8 at the offensive end. And he's done a good job defensively, too. Uh, he, he's played Hodgson a, a, a number of times. Oh, he's wiped him out. Villanova, their last nine points have come on three pointers. Here's Allen playing with four. He's got to be careful. Gets it to Calway. I think Steve, is, Steve Lapis has done a really good job of rotating big people, and uh, even with the fouls, uh, just keeping him uh, in the game. How about Brian Lynch, the hustle there. Celestan tried to switch hands on a crossover, lost it out of bounds. 7.44 to go in the ball game. Nova leads 68-59. Good to have you back with us here at the Pavilion at Villanova. Dave Sims and George Blaney, 68-59, our first plus game summary. 
Second chance points, it's all Nova. Career highs for Lynch and Penn and team fouls for the game. There you have it, 24 to 18. Kind Check this out. Kind of unusual that you would get two guys that would uh, have career highs in the same day, Dave, don't you think? Um, indeed, and Lynch and Penn have combined for 15 of 20 from the field, 75%. The rest of the team, 10 of 32, 31%. 10-8, had it blocked, but it'll go to the line. And Lynch trying to say the foul was on him because if, it, if it's on uh, Allen, he's done. Again, check out the position uh, of the post people for Rutgers. She's getting great position. Half turn, little hop step. Might have might have wanted to dunk that one. Uh, Tanise again, uh, as he gets a little bit older and a little bit more experience, is going to pound that one in. And the foul was on Malik Allen. So that's coming at the 7.33 mark. Malik Allen, a real difficult day. Just three points all in the first half with just one rebound, and he fouls out here with 7.33 to go. Well, once again, uh, Steve has got to do a uh, kind of a mirror act with, uh, with the big guys, just kind of bringing guys in and out and trying to get a couple of minutes out of them. Malik certainly didn't, uh, didn't have uh, a lot of minutes in there today. Almost as soon as he came out onto the floor, he committed fouls. Tanise at the line, as we mentioned earlier, just 51%, and there's a picture of frustration. Such a good shooter. It's hard to believe he's not a good foul shooter. Tanise, one out of two. He's got 13 points, one short of his career high. Rutgers won't go away, though. Seven and a half to go. They just won't, won't disappear. Plenty of time. And I tell you what, they're being outshot considerably. Villanova's got 52 shots for 36 for Rutgers. Cowett. Cowett! Boy, he had a lot of turbulence up in the air and made it go. Again, watch how aggressive uh, Villanova is here. Cowett coming across the middle. Good look from Lynch. Uh, makes the pass on the numbers and a terrific finish going away from the basket again watch the uh, real good foul off the, or shot off the board gets a three-point opportunity Tanisha's third foul three-pointer three-point opportunity converted by Cowett 11-point lead Sanders with it too quick for his own good Hudson's got to start shooting he does can't get it Tanisha rebounds Tanisha puts it up and scores he's got a new high career high 15 points and that's again that second hit that uh, second chance points which they haven't been having a lot of them a good offensive rebound that time well, this could be a coming out party for alvitas tenis he's been outstanding today tip ball johnson takes over and Ogan lesson boy through no fault of his own johnson was changing directions and was able to pick up that foul on the big fella Johnson just kind of ran in the way of him, and uh, it really was something that he couldn't avoid. He went behind his back, he just got in the way, and, and uh, knocks, knocks him flat. Good smart play by Earl Johnson. Rutgers hanging tough, and down by 11. 10 on a couple of occasions, and 9 on a couple of occasions, and they fought back. Earl Johnson playing with four fouls. 81% at the line, and here comes Clark for Hudson, while Medley comes in for Howard Brown for Villanova. Remember, Johnson came in with about uh, 11 minutes to go in the half with the four fouls, so uh, he's gone, he's got, already got to the six-minute mark, and uh, see how long he, he can go with the four fouls. So Earl, they need to get points out of either Johnson or Hodgson down the stretch. Uh, yes, they do. Hodgson getting a little his rest now, and uh, I'm sure he'll be back in a couple of minutes. Seven-point Villanova lead. Catch with the ball. Here's Lynn. Career high inside. Ogan Lessie. Wheels. Hit it blocked by Tenise. Puts it up. Makes it in. Simon Ogan Lessie. Villanova second half. 11 offensive rebounds and 11 missed shots. That's great to see. You get your shot blocked, you come back and get a, get a basket. Tanise, a couple of fakes. The cutter is billet in traffic. Leaves for Sam Sanders. Couldn't jam it. Tips it up and in. Sam Sanders, tenacious for Rutgers. He's got nine rebounds. Sanders likes degree of difficulty, I think, on most shots. And uh, well, he had a clean layup and lost the ball up and going up on the jam. Here's Celestine. Cowett drifted, gonna wipe that one off by the Trevor. 
Celestan once again, they'll found the open guy. Cowett just uh, hopped into his uh, three-point shot. Every time you think Villanova has uh, the rhythm, uh, they kind of come out of it a little bit, and that's uh, a tribute to uh, Rutgers' uh, good defense. Here. Baseline drive. Johnson got to be careful. Johnson with room. It's a triple. Count it up. Scarlet Knights right back in it again. Down by four. Earl Johnson, big three. He's got eight on the afternoon. Just a solid guard play by Jeff Billett and Earl Johnson that time. Just knew what they had to do and showed up a, a good open three-pointer. Calletta deep three. Can't get it. Oh, get Leslie an obvious push-off. There was no doubt about that one. And we'll walk the floor. We check out of town scores. Later on today in the Big East, they'll play for the number one seed in the Big East tournament. St. John's at stores to take on the UConn Huskies. Jimmy Calhoun's team has done such a wonderful job. Uh, sixth in the country, seventh in the country, depending on which poll you look at. Uh, you know, they, they, I don't know if there's a team that plays any harder than UConn in the country. They certainly do play hard. Denise, back rims the first one. Logan Leslie will go out. So Zephy Penn is back in. Denise just one of four, George, at the free throw line. Yeah, Villanova gets real small again right now as uh, when you take uh, the three big guys are out, so they're, they're all small forwards or uh, guards. And you check that Cowette with the rebound. But this is the group that they kind of got some better ball movement with, and uh, maybe that's what can happen here. 5-0-2 to go, and Hudson coming back into the game for today's ESPN USA Today Top 25 action. Wisconsin leading on the road at Michigan. Arizona holding off Stanford at home. South Carolina trailing to Kentucky, and Temple by trailing by five at Maryland at the half. That ball tipped by Clark. Hudson takes over. Scarlet Knights down four, under five to play. They are really hanging tough. Well, there's no question how important this game is for Rutgers. Uh, certainly uh, would, would kind of solidify an NIT position. Fill it in and out. Rebound Sam rebound. Sanders. Kicks it back to Clark. Sets a screen. Here's Hudson. Earl Johnson. They look for the penetration. Underneath is Hodgson. Knocked away, stolen by Lynch. Great weak side help by uh, Brian Lynch that time. Read that pass the whole way. Uh, kind of two teammates, Billet and, uh, and Lynch, played together in high school. Edley wanted that one. They give it to Clark. He stops. And he gets the layup. Going over, fans calling for the travel. Going over, calling for the travel. But uh, Clark held his pivot foot, and he just kind of moved his other one. And how about this? Rutgers back to within two again. Under four to play. And they get the hand check on Sam Sanders. His fourth. I think if you had told Steve Lapis that with three to go, the game would be in the 70s, uh, I think he might have thought they would be in good shape. But all of a sudden, Rutgers just hanging in, hanging in. Here's the pass from Bill at high pass. I think he, I think he holds his pivot foot. Just gathers his strength and goes up and makes a real good offensive play. Good presence of mind by the senior. Once again, uh, Clark uh, being the warrior for uh, Rutgers. Uh, Danny Hurley, uh, who's uh, just such a great kid and is going to be a terrific coach, uh, has told me uh, all year about uh, how hard uh, Clark has worked and, and what a good job he's done. And, and uh, it's his words uh, about uh, calling the warrior all year. So that ends an 11-2 run by Rutgers. We got a break, 3.48 to go. A look at Danny Hurley. His Rutgers Scarlet Knights trail by four here at Villanova. This year at Villanova, 75-71, a good one. Villanova trying to end a four-game losing streak. Game reset. He's got two times out remaining for both clubs. A 20 for each, and the team fouls 14-9. I think it'll be interesting now, Dave, is, is which set of guards is kind of going to take over the game. And uh, you've got a four-point game with 3.48 to go. Uh, Johnson and Billet certainly have experience, uh, certainly have the smarts, uh, but Celestan has been doing an outstanding job for uh, Villanova all game long. Villanova 
in the second half, 12 turnovers to just three for Rutgers. Those 12 Villanova, uh, Villanova turnovers have led to 17 Rutgers points. And that's kind of been uh, as much uh, the defense by Rutgers, but also the carelessness of Villanova. Every time they seem to get in a flow offensively, they come down the next possession and turn it over. <laughs> Kevin Bannon doing a little, little housework, probably yeah. more housework than he does in a week. <laughs> And Sanders through the hands of Hudson, and he didn't save it. Backcourt violation. Boy, there's a costly turnover in a four-point game with 3.39 to go. This is just a real bad pass. Uh, looks to me like Johnson needed to save this rather than try to catch it. He just went backcourt. There's no line here at the midcourt. That's always been uh, a little bit of a contention of mine. There ought to be a line so you know that that uh, Wildcat is painted there and you right. don't really know where the midcourt is. Lynch on the run, high off the glass and in. Look Ryan Lynch with 23 points. Outside, inside, on the boards. Uh, Brian has done uh, just about everything he can do today. And he's hurt it. He hurt his right wrist on that drive. Sanders trying to feed the post. You don't ever get hurt when you make the basket. <laughs> 18 on the shot clock. Hodson trying to post up against Brown. Bill will take it himself. Hodson had it lost, and here comes Lynch. Great weak side help by uh, Zeppi Penn. Just a with a burst of speed for the layup. Celestan's got that explosive speed where he can just step it up. 2.47 to go. Filling over by eight. Celestan exploding to the hole. 6 0 run by Villanova. Today's game is brought to you by Nissan, who reminds you that life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Kodiak, the new look in pressure treated lumber. Its natural brown color makes other pressure treated wood green with envy. And by Walker Muffler, the new Quiet Flow Muffler, only from Walker. Run quiet, run better. We have got a good one, the regular season finale here at Villanova. Here's, watch the weak side, uh, weak side help here. Zephy Penn again. When you're small, you've got to be able to do that. Lynch gives it up, and, and then Sellis then just explodes. He's got that other gear, Dave. He can step it and uh, go at uh, fast, faster, and fastest. Well, I tell you what, that was as an impressive an offensive move, move as I've seen John perform in his three years at Villanova. That was impressive. Fill it. And Celestan thought he had all ball, whistled for the foul. Just such a smart play by Billet, though. Down eight, uh, 240 to go. Uh, takes the ball right to the goal, is hard and draws the foul. Just a smart veteran guard play. Billet the junior. Six foot 180s, five for six at the line. And these are very important. In and out. Sam Sanders returns to the lineup for Jeff Greer. You better check, uh, see if Billet has a temperature or something. Missing a foul shot in uh, under three minutes. That's uh, really highly unusual. Rutgers has missed its last three from the line. Just again, see that was short. Medley way upstairs for the loose ball. And the Cats with the ball. Up eight as we approach two and a half to go. Pulling over, want to use a little time here if they can. Uh, keep using the floor, get the ball side to side. Zephy Penn, deep points. He hit it! What a day for Zephy Penn! 19 points! That may have blown it open. Once again, off the real good look by uh, Celestin. And a miss layup! And a miss layup by Earl Johnson. They call a loose ball. Great Warriors in the Big East Clark and Zephy Penn. But what a moment for Zephy. Johnson thinks he got hit on the head, which he did a little bit, and that caused him to miss the shot. Clark just hanging tough, hanging tough. Jump ball. Here it is again. I think Medley gets him on the head, causes the miss. Zephy Penn with a real good rebound. Clark coming over the top. And now we've got... I think the question is whose possession it is. John Cal. See the coaches wondering what's going on. The officials.
John Cal, Will Bush, and jo Joe Vigna. This is always a tough part for the coach. You, you have no idea sometimes what's going on. Now, uh, Kevin and uh, Steve just passed each other. Maybe. <laughs> We're getting a little bit of an explanation here now. So possession is definitely the question. Looks like uh, looks like the ball's going to go to Rutgers. They've just probably had the arrow at the wrong place. We're checking the play-by-play. Rundown. It shouldn't be that hard to check. Villanova on a 9-0 run. This was a 73-71 ball game. They did it uh, as much defensively, uh, Dave, as as offensively too, with a couple of real good steals with a small team. Just great weak side help. Big scores for Villanova. Lynch with 23, Penn with 19, 13 from Celestan for Rutgers, 18 for Billet, 18 for Clark, 15 for Tenise off the bench. I can't tell you how good a game John Celestan has played, though. He's just done a terrific job of penetrating and then finding open people. There you go. We got Steve got a high five out of John Cal. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. A couple of veteran guys. That, you know, and there's another function of having guys work your lead that you're familiar with, too. Well, and it's also a, a credit to John uh, to, to be able to take a tough situation and defuse it. You bet. Uh, and get something out of it. Billet. Rutgers need points. That'd be oh, What a play by Billet. He pumped fake pen. Bought the foul. The three. This is a big play. Uh, th this possession became a big play. Now, now watch, uh, watch how he just leans in, gets him up in the air, gets Penn in the air, and then jumps in and somehow makes the shot and draws the foul. Wow! What a moment. 18 points. Check that. 21 for Billet. They don't come any smarter than this kid. Shades of Walt Clyde Frazier, right? <laughs> the lean in. Yeah. <laughs> 82-75, we approach two minutes to go. Villanova's got to get aggressive again. Rutgers coming uh, with some pretty good pressure. Celestan, great penetration. Jeffy Penn threw it away, but it was knocked out of bounds by Rutgers. Dave, Celestan just doing so many good things today. It's uh, terrific. 156 to go, Rutgers desperately trying to get its first and only road win on, in the conference this season. If Rutgers were to win, they would finish it 13 to 13 in the regular season. Steve Lapis's ball club trying to end a four-game losing streak. This has been a great battle. If you looked at this matchup coming in, you would think, I had a plan for the seventh seed. That's important. But yet, you know, both teams have not had great seasons. But this has been a terrifically contested game. Well, I think you know the character of both teams, that they're not going to give in, and that even though Villanova probably has had a little bit of a dis disappointing season, uh, certainly Rutgers has had an outstanding season. Zephy Penn gave Villanova a little bit of cushion with penetration, his open shot, three-point shot for Zephy. Just feeling it again. Cats inbound. Here's Medley. 20, 22 seconds on the clock on the uh, shot clock. Got to be aware of that coming out of the timeout. And Johnson mug. That's five on down low. And Johnson is done with a buck 50 to go. He was draped all over him. Johnson at six feet was giving up six inches to Brian Lynch. That's so that good. was a good situation for Villanova. We've seen an awful lot of good post positions all night. Uh, Clark has done it. Uh, Tanisha has done it. Vegas has done it, and now Lynch did it right there. Uh, just some very, very good, solid post play. And, and again, tribute to both coaches. They're, they're both very excellent teachers, real sound fundamentally. Uh, Steve's teams have always been that way, and uh, certainly Kevin uh, at Ryder and Trenton State uh, has been an outstanding teacher. Wildcats at 10 and 16, 7 and 10 in the Big East. They're 4 and 4 in home 
conference action. Always uh, under three minutes. Uh, it's now it's a time on uh, whether or not you can make foul shots. And uh, that's always a good stat to keep, too, is what your percentage is down the stretch. And uh, Brian, uh, like Zephy Penn today, is just feeling it. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, it, the ball's just touching his fingers and, and uh, going straight in. He may want to do an Ernie Banks. Let's play two. <laughs> He's got 25. He's three for four at the line. That's the good thing about playing noontime games. You can go play another one. That's right. Billet got room. Billet to the glass. Too hard to put back. It goes in. There's the Warrior again. Both uh, both Clark and Sanders were on it. I think Sanders got the basket, but both Clark and Sanders were on that offensive basket that time. Sanders riding the man down the sideline. Picks up the foul. Stops the clock with 1.35 to go. Watch uh, good weak side rebounding from two people. Billet with the penetration, high off the glass, and here comes Sanders and Clark, and they look like they both tap it in. Sanders, five fouls, he's done. If, at four points and 12 rebounds. If you keep making your foul shots, though, it, it makes it very difficult to overcome, uh, uh, no matter uh, how many shots you make down the stretch. If, if uh, You're going to have to keep fouling Villanova. Villanova step up and make those foul shots. That's that's the benefit of having the, uh, the, the perimeter team in that you have in at the end of the game here. All of them are pretty good shooters and uh, certainly all pretty good foul shooters. One thirty-five to go at the Pavilion Big East basketball here in Villanova. Dave Sims and George Blaney. Very good game here between these clubs. Their only meeting of the season. Villanova now with a six in a row now, huh? down the stretch. Yeah, they've uh, done a good job. And Rutgers one for five uh, down the stretch. So uh, that that makes a difference. Yes, it does. Celestan looking to make it a nine-point lead and does. So Rutgers got to get some shots up quickly. Set a pick for Billet. They get it to Greer now. Greer going to take it deep. Off the glass. A little short. Clark, big follow. Can't get it. Greer missed that one. Tipped again by Clark. Can't get it. And it went off the foot of Howard Brown. Rutgers ball with 118 to go. Again, just great tenacity of staying on the offensive glass. Uh, Villanova just needs to almost back that one back out. And... Uh, Get a 20-second timeout uh, by Kevin Bannon and Rutgers. And Rutgers has been down by as many as 11, three times down by nine, and they've been able to... This is not uh, this is not Rutgers' strength, though, being able to come from behind late in the game. It's, uh, they're not great one-on-one -on -one players. They are good three-point shooters, and uh, maybe some dribble penetration for three. Don't forget, coming up next week, the AT&T Big East Championship. Here's how the brackets are set up to this point. Miami's in West Virginia. Seton Hall, they have their spot. The St. John's UConn winner will get one. The loser gets three. Syracuse is the second seed. We're set up for some fabulous basketball at Madison Square Garden for the AT&T Big East Championship. A lot in that tournament's going to determine how many teams the Big East will get into the NCAAs, too. Uh, could get, certainly should get four and maybe even five, and uh, depending on how teams do in the tournament. Can't believe how reluctant Rutgers has been to shoot here the last couple of seconds. Coming up on a minute to go, Johnny Blake off the bench. Here's Billet, deep three, in and out. Loose ball, and it goes to Celestan. That's the pretty good defensive uh, pressure by the perimeter people uh, going over, though. That's it's not always easy to get an open three. Now you see them hold the ball and just get fouled. Billet gives the foul with 52.3 seconds to go. Billet's played a tough game, 22 points. I think it always sounds easy. Uh, you're down uh, eight or nine points, and you need to, to take a three. And uh, But Villanova knows that, too, and they're going to defend that three pretty well. And they got up and after people and made people put the ball on the floor. And finally, uh, Billet had to take a, a tough three. So Villanova, six for six at the line. Correction, six for nine at the line. Celestan. Makes it a 10-point lead, and it'll stay right there. Billet all the way. Missed with the left hand this time. And Zephy Penn. Blake tried to give the foul. They called nothing. And they Zephy, play on. Zephy having his career high in rebounds, too. Uh, just doing a fabulous job today. 
with 38.4 seconds to go, and Villanova has this one pretty much locked up. Well, I think Villanova did what they wanted to do coming in. They wanted to have great intensity. They wanted to go inside early, which they did. Uh, and then Sellis then just ran the team so exceptionally well uh, the rest of the game. And Zephy Penn and Brian Lynch coming up with the career game. Nine out of the last ten by Villanova at the free throw line. Tough afternoon for Rutgers. Canoes played a fine game. And uh, Zephy Penn getting that's a, a nice, uh, nice tribute to Zephy. Uh, Standing ovation, gets a big hug from Coach Lapis, Celestan, Brian Lynch, all the players on the bench. He is a revered player here at Villanova. Not a superstar, but he's a super person. you got to remember, he played on some great teams, too, and he, and he was a big factor on those teams. Uh, not always a starter, but uh, really a big factor. And a miscue as Billet tried to set up Clark. Bellistan and in the final 30 seconds back outside to Lynch. Steve Lapp is going to empty his bench. People aren't going to know how close this game was by the score, Dave. Not at all. Steve Lapp is full of fouls. They can get these two seniors in. Joe Jackson coming in, number 20, and Brian New, number 12, will be their last appearance in a Villanova uniform. Couple of seniors. Brian Lynch goes out. He had a fabulous game. Jackson going to get a shot up. The place to go wild. And how about that? The senior gets a shot. Joe Jackson on the board. That'll close it out for Villanova. And Rutgers will finish the Big East play regular season winless on the road. Villanova ends a four-game losing streak to improve to 11 and 16, 8 and 10 in the conference. Along with George Blaney, this is Dave Sims. Thanks for joining us. Villanova wins it 91 to 77. Have a good afternoon, everyone.